Was that one of the highlights of your career, was winning the 2010 Premiership? Yeah, yeah it was. Like, I was young, so I was in the second year of my career. To be honest, it was probably overshadowed a little bit by some stuff that followed after the grand final. I started losing passion in football in the moment my dad died. Football was something that my dad and I did together. I remember the first game I, I played at home and I sort of looked over and my bag was just sort of sitting on that in the passenger side and it, 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 that sort of just, I felt like a bit of an emptiness. You did have a lot of demons after that and life spiralled a little bit. My wife just, you know, she's been through a lot. Um, just with just with the things that I'd, sorry if I get a bit emotional, but the things that I'd put her through. Um, <clears throat> gambling addiction, um, you know, the drug addiction that I had. It was challenging. Um, no one ever wakes up and wants to be a drug addict. There's always underlining issues. Was there a moment with you, was it the car crash, where you thought, I need to change my life here? Yeah, in February last year, my thoughts and feelings were all over the place and I was intoxicated at the time. Oh, the only thing I really remember was the airbags just coming and basically slapping me in the face. And I, I walked out of it pretty unscathed. You know, I was lucky in that sense. And from that point on, I got the right help that I needed. Stepping away from football was probably the smartest and best thing for my life. Um, like I said, I couldn't be happier. Like I spend, you know, all my spare time now with my kids um, yeah, and my wife, and I just try and be the best husband and father that I can be. Thank you so much for sharing all this stuff and enjoy your time in the house, mate. Thanks, boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, man. That was like...